Welcome to this video lecture on the topic reflector antennas. An antenna reflector is a device that reflects the electromagnetic waves. So antenna reflectors can exist as a standalone device for redirecting the radio frequency energy or it can be integrated as a part of antenna assembly. The function of the standalone reflector is to redirect the electromagnetic energy generally in the radio wavelength range of electromagnetic spectrum. The reflector antennas are widely used to modify the radiation pattern of radiating element increasing the gain in a given direction. So these are the types of reflector. So from the first one the large flat seat reflectors and others are corner reflectors and hyperbolic reflectors and circular reflectors. So these are several uh, types of reflectors where we are going to discuss about a parabolic reflector. So uh, generally the corner reflector which reflects the incoming signal back to the direction from which it came it is commonly used in radars. And corner reflector antenna is a type of directional antenna used in VHF and UHF frequencies. So it consists of a dipole driven element mounted in front of two flat rectangular reflecting screens joined at an angle usually 90 degrees. Flat reflector which reflects the signal such as the mirror and is often used as a passive repeater. So flat reflector used in sector antenna. Corner reflector is used in UHF television antennas. So the common integrated uh, reflector types are parabolic reflector which focuses a beam signal into one point or directs a radiating signal into a beam. So next parabolic reflectors. Parabolic reflectors are microwave antennas. The most well known reflector antenna is a parabolic reflector commonly known as a satellite dish antenna. So these antennas are widely used for radio and wireless applications. Parabolic reflectors typically have high gain. They also have a reasonable bandwidth and very wide band in the case of huge dishes. A smaller dish antennas typically operate between 2 and 28 GHz. The large dishes can operate in the VHF region 30 to 300 MHz but typically need to be extremely large at this operating band. Parabolic reflector have this common construction where uh, parabola is reflector is used and feed point is focal point where a horn antenna feed is used. So this is the geometry of parabolic reflector. The point F is the focus point in the geometry and V is the vertex. So the line joining F and V is the axis of symmetry where the PQ are the reflected rays where L represents the line directrix on which the reflected points lie. So the distance between F and L lie constant with respect to waves being focused. The ratio of the focal length to the aperture size is known as the F over D ratio varies from 0 0.25 to 0.5. So here the uh, raw of reflection states that angle of incident and angle of reflection are equal. So this law is used to, along with the parabola helps to beam focus. So the shape of the parabola when used for the purpose of reflection exhibits some properties of the parabola. All the waves originating from the focus reflects back to the parabolic axis. So hence all the waves reaching the aperture are in phase. So the beam of radiation will be strong and concentrated. So it helps in producing the high directivity and narrower beam width. So if a parabolic is used for transmitting a signal, signal from the feed comes out of a dipole or a horn antenna. The waves come out of the focal point strike the parabolic reflector. This wave now gets reflected and collimated wave front to get transmitted as shown in this picture. So here the parabola is a two dimensional plane curve whereas parabolic reflector is a three dimensional curved surface. It produces a parallel beam of circular cross section. The radiation pattern is a very sharp major lobe and minor lobes are smaller in size. So in this uh, spillover and back lobe may occur where some desired rays are not captured by the reflector and these constitute the spillover. 
in receivers spillover increases noise pickup which is troublesome in satellite ground stations some radiations from the primary reflector occur in the forward radiation this is known as the back lobe radiation not desirable as it can interfere destructively so these are the various feed systems of reflector antennas or uh, dipole feed horn feed in fire antenna and cassegrain green feed advantages reduction of minor lobes and wastage of power is reduced equivalent focal length is achieved feed can be placed in any location according to our convenience so adjustment of beam is done by adjusting the reflecting surfaces and disadvantages are some of the power that gets reflected from the parabolic reflector is obstructed so this becomes a problem with the small dimension paraboloid so these are the assessment questions so which of the following wave conversion mechanism is used is performed in a parabolic reflector antenna the option is answer b spherical to plane and which of the following is dual reflector antenna the answer is a cassegrain antenna thank you for listening this lecture